Hey, Carlos Lago with Edmonds here. This is the 2023 Cadillac Lyric. This video, I'm gonna explain what you can expect when you take a look at this vehicle inside and out, how big it is, how much it costs, what it's like compared to other rivals on paper. If you like videos like this one, make sure to like and subscribe. Also tell us what else you wanna see in the comments below. Be sure to visit edmunds.com slash sell my car if you wanna sell your car. We've seen the Lyric before in concept version, but this is the first time we're seeing the car in what it will look like when it actually goes on sale. Reservations start uh, early September and deliveries will begin early next year. It's important because it's Cadillac's first all electric vehicle and it also represents a whole bunch of EVs coming from General Motors in the near future like that GMC Hummer and the forthcoming all electric Chevy Silverado. The Lyric starts at 60 grand or thereabouts before any EV incentives. That's roughly between the Cadillac XT6 and Escalade base prices. That's also a touch less than luxury EV SUVs from Audi and Jaguar, and it matches that of a loaded Tesla Model Y, even though the Lyric is larger. Speaking of size, the Lyric is about the same length and width as the much costlier Tesla Model X or a mid-sized traditionally powered SUV like a Kia Telluride or BMW X5. But its wheels sit further apart from the vehicle center. That's the wheelbase, and the Lyric's wheelbase is similar to that of an Escalade. Not needing to fit the engine, transmission, drive shaft gives you more room inside, and that means more space relative to gas-powered SUVs. The Lyric will sit five passengers to a front three and back, obviously, but the first thing you notice when you hop in is this screen. It's 33 inches and it's actually one complete screen across the entire display. Some vehicles out there, we've seen these large displays actually have multiple screens. This is just one uniform screen and it's attractive. It's also low and out of the way. It's all still easy to see over the windshield when you sit in the driver's seat. One thing that um, you can really appreciate with EVs like this is because you don't have a transmission right here, you have a lot of space in the floor and Cadillacs use that to give you some storage space down here for handbags and so on, whatever you need to position. There's also additional storage options, like you have some cubbies here that can pop out and fit, flip down. I'm not supposed to touch anything because this is still an early build and things may not be 100%, but that's kind of what you get with vehicles in this stage of production. Like many other Cadillacs, the Lyric offers Super Cruise. That's the name of Cadillac's hands-free driving technology, and it works on select roadways and with some other limitations too. What I like about this layout is the attention to detail in a lot of the materials. It looks very attractive. There's use of metal, there's use of wood. It gives you the kind of premium you'd experience you'd hope to find in a Cadillac while still feeling very modern because it doesn't seem too alien or too far removed from modern Cadillacs of today. It still seems very usable, but it is attractive as well. Let's take a look at the back seat. Back here, space is very plentiful. I'm 5'10 or so. The front seat is a little bit forward than what I would sit normally, but as you can see, I have plenty of space in all directions. Up above is a glass roof. There will be a glass roof fix and then also a reclining or sliding glass roof available later for the Lyric. Um, that means I have good headroom, uh, plenty of leg and knee room, and the space back here for, feels very comfortable. I also appreciate that, like you would expect in a vehicle in this class, you have rear vents and plenty of power ports. Nice stuff. Cargo space should look pretty similar to what you would expect from an SUV of this size. You get about 28 cubic feet with the rear seats up, drop that down in that space to expand to above, like roughly 60 cubic feet pretty sizable altogether, especially with those seats flipped down. You don't get a front trunk storage area. That's the space where the level two charger sits. That's the space with a couple other parts of the car mechanical bits fit. And by moving those up there, Cadillac says they've opened up space back here and in the interior space. The base Lyric comes with one electric motor and rear wheel drive, and it has a 100 kilowatt battery pack. 
This combination supplies 340 horsepower and more than 300 miles of range per Cadillac. That range estimate is similar to what you get from the smaller Tesla Model Y long range and more than the Audi e-tron or Jaguar I-Pace. A dual motor and all-wheel drive Lyric will be available in the future, though Cadillac hasn't provided the specifications for that model yet. The Lyric rides on a platform that GM has designed specifically for its upcoming EVs. Think of a platform kind of like the frame or an underpinning of a vehicle, and in this case it allows GM to size the batteries between 50 and 200 kilowatt, topping out in the latter like you would find in the Hummer EV. Per GM, the design contains fewer rare earth materials than current GM batteries, and that's better for the environment, and it's less complex to manufacture. Cadillac is also working on battery enhancements to combat the traditional reduction of range that EVs experience in cold weather. The Lyric comes standard with a 19.2 kilowatt onboard charger that Cadillac says is capable of adding up to 52 miles of range per hour. This is significantly powerful, but you'll need to have a pretty robust home power source installed to take full advantage. The charger's placement under the hood is one of the reasons why the Lyric lacks a storage space there. For longer drives, the Lyric supports DC fast charging at up to 190 kilowatt from appropriate charging stations. The Lyric represents Cadillac's transition away from traditional gas-powered sedans like the lovely high-performance Blackwings I drove not so long ago. Its daring design and tech appropriately signals a new direction for the brand. By the time deliveries begin in the first half of 2022, there will be many new luxury EV SUVs to choose from. We'll report on how the Lyric fares against those rivals when it arrives next year.